In this video, I'll be showing the performance of diffusion material for DIY diffusers for tabletop photography or outdoor macro photography or product photography. Welcome to my channel. This is the third part of my series on diffusion materials. In the first part, I have uploaded a couple of days back on the selection process of diffusion materials. In the second part, I have shown one very small video how to get a very special diffusion material from laptop monitor or PC monitor or from old LED TV, you can get a very special uh, diffusion material like this. These are very nice, excellent diffusion material for DIY light diffusers. But today, I'll be doing a practical demonstration on the performance of this diffusion material on my desktop studio with a very reflective surface to see the real effect of diffusion performance of these materials. Before going into photo shoot, let me show you the setup I have done for this performance testing of diffusion materials. This is the item I will be taking snaps. Uh, there is one reflective coin, very shiny coin. And on the back, there is a stone which has got a very ref reflective surface. This is a gold ore. I've collected it from Canada, Vancouver. And this is the frame for fixing uh, the diffusion material on top of it. I'll be using Sony A6500 with the TT Artisan macro lens and Godox 350S flash for testing the diffusion material. Uh, let me start and I'll show you the outcome of this diffusion material with each shot so you'll be easily understand which one is the best diffusion material for this DIY project. I'll start with my uh, diffusion materials which I categorize as A. I really don't use this material because from my experience these are worthless but for your experience for your reference i'll take some snapshots so that you can you don't have to repeat the same thing like me which i have done several times for understanding this diffusion system i'll be using the same flush strength for every shot and same focusing distance, same flash strength, and I'll be using aperture 8 for this photo shoot. I'll take a couple of pictures without any diffuser so that you can understand the difference between the with diffusion material and without diffusion material. Pictures are very shiny. Let me take a snapshot of this. Then I'll do it like this. Absolutely no diffusion. Absolutely no diffusion. Let me try the tracing paper. Let me try the tracing paper. I'll take a snapshot of the Then I'll put it here. No, no good diffusion at all. Very bad. Let me try this translucent paper. Try it. 
translucent plastic. Let me put in front of the flush. This is also very bad, very bad. So the metals in the category A, absolutely rubbish. Only the white paper gives some deficient, but problem with the paper is not strong. It will tear off any time. So let me try my favorite material. Let me try this special deficient plastic, which I get from the laptop monitors and computer monitors, as well as from LED TVs. They have all this very special plastic material. The problem, we cannot buy it from outside any store. So let me take some snaps with this deficient material. Good diffusion. Most of the time I use this deficient material with this foam. So it gives a much better result. Excellent result, excellent. Now I'll be testing this category C. In category C, these are white plastic shape. These are excellent material. The best diffusion material I've got. The thick one is much better than the thin one, but uh, I think you can use both. If you have any question about this diffusion materials or making a DIY diffusion box or DIY radian diffuser, please ask me in the comment box or if you have any question regarding macro photography or product photography on tabletop studio, please do not hesitate to put any comment in the comment box below. In last couple of weeks, I have uploaded several videos on making of mini radian diffuser for my photography, both indoor and outdoor. I'll give the links below in in the description so that you don't have to find or you don't have to search around in my channel please check out the links below in the description box If you like it, give me a thumbs up, please subscribe my channel, stay connected. Your comments will inspire me in making much better videos in future on macro photography on this tabletop studio as well as outdoor. And I'll be uploading uh, many issues like this in future. See you again. Bye bye. Thanks for watching.